at the center of a firestorm. Sandra Fluke. Let's bring in Sandra Fluke. Exclusive interview with Sandra Fluke. One of the things that I think has been really an incredible step forward during President Obama's first term is the passage of the Affordable Care Act of Obamacare. It's amazing what this piece of legislation is going to do for health care in this country for all of us, for men, women, and families. On women's health care specifically, there's been a lot of attention around the contraception provisions. This will make contraception access available to all women who are seeking to, to control their own future and be able to make choices about the timing of their families so that they can also concentrate on their education, on their careers, and be able to, to fulfill their dreams. There's support for domestic violence screenings and for sexually transmitted infection screenings and breast cancer. The Affordable Care Act is a tremendous step forward, but it's also not the end of our fight. Mr. Romney and Mr. Ryan have been very clear that they want to turn back the clock. They've said that they'll undo the Affordable Care Act. Mr. Romney has said he will kill it dead on day one. Representative Ryan has one of the most anti-choice records in the House of Representatives. He co-sponsored a bill that made distinctions about which types of victims of rape, which types of rape made it legitimate enough that you could have access to an abortion as a rape victim. There's been a lot of debate about the term war on women and how women perceive what's been happening in the legislatures across our country. We have seen record numbers of pieces of legislation that attack women's access to health care, that attack women's access to fair pay. However you want to characterize it, that is what's occurring. I firmly believe that the types of policies we're debating right now are, for the most part, not things that we really disagree about. The vast majority of this country does not think that a rape survivor should be forced to carry a fetus to term. So really, it's about information. If we all understand what's at stake in this election, if we talk about that and share that information, then I don't think there's, there's any way that we can't ultimately overcome this.